Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I'm bringing you today Canada's 10 most expensive home price highlights and 10 least expensive home price highlights. This is from across Canada. This was a survey that was done by Century 21, who is the company that I work for. And I am here to present the official rundown of the top 10 least and most expensive areas. So this is going to be broken down into two separate podcasts. I want to make sure that you guys get all the information possible. So on today's episode, you're going to be getting the list of the the list of the 10 least expensive home price highlights, and that's going to get you started. And then following that, we're going to be talking about the 10 most expensive. And I want to be able to also hear from those of you who are in these cities. I want to hear your feedback. That is what makes this podcast so powerful. So to hear from you, to get your emails, to get your um, messages, even on the podcast. Some of you have actually been doing that lately is leaving voicemails there. And uh, again, I will, I will definitely use those clips in the podcast if you want to leave some information about what uh, your thoughts are on the areas that I'm going to be going through. So I'm going to talk about today the top 10 least expensive home price areas. One of those areas, um, starting with um, Red Deer, Alberta. So let's start with Red Deer, Alberta, listed at 226 per square foot. So that is in the top 10 list of the least expensive home price highlights. Next on the list, and that's and that's using a townhouse as the um, as the type of property that's used for that. The next is Saskatoon, and Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, uh, has been a place that I've been sending there. I've been sending people there for many, many years. Um, I've even got some. Uh, Uh, very close friends and relatives that live in and around that area. So I do know a lot about the ins and outs of that area as well as a result because of the people I've sent there. Uh, And this is a Saskatoon condo and this is the average being 226 per square foot. Next is St. John's, Newfoundland. This is 205 per square foot, and this is a condo in St. John's, Newfoundland. Next is Edmonton, Alberta at 204 per square foot. And starting now at number six is when we get into the one digits, meaning the, you know, the, the, uh, the, the, the per square foots that are in the hundreds per square foot. So first one, um, sorry, the, the number six on the list is Moncton, New Brunswick at 197 per square foot. So that's, of course, again, in New Brunswick. And then we're looking at Red Deer again, making the list at number five. And this is a condo in Red Deer at 196 per square foot. Number four is Fredericton, Fredericton, New Brunswick at 196 per square foot. Next is St. John, which is 192 per square foot. And then in the top two, it's Regina, Saskatchewan, as, as in a, the, um, for Regina, it would be a condo at 189 per square foot. And lastly, coming in at number one in the least mo- in the in the least expensive home price highlights is St. John's, Newfoundland, at one sixty-seven per square foot. I hope you've enjoyed this podcast, and I really want to make sure to hear from all of you that are in these areas, and I'd love to hear more about what your thoughts are, and I'd love to hear from those of you who are thinking about making a move to these neighborhoods, to these communities across Canada, because I want to be able to help you make the best move wherever you're moving to or wherever you're moving from, there's no better place to make sure your listing is featured than right here at realestatepodcastshow.com. This is the number one place to get your listing featured as the top result on Google for Real Estate Podcast Show. There's no better focus when you're selling than to have the right exposure, and you'll only get that here. Thanks for listening.